Afternoon guys, we're in the UK. Um, just finishing off a ride, just a steady ride. I'm on the Scottish courses. I'm going to teleport to somewhere flat. I can do a proper cool down. I haven't taken it particularly hard today, as you'll see if you look at the bottom of the screen, so there's a bit of a red there that's going up on the hills. Other than that, i just try to stay in the blue and green all the way through. i race tomorrow, so I might as well do it. Um, anyway, conscious that at the end of the last stream, if you saw it, I was rabbiting on about all sorts of things which don't really relate to what I'm doing here. So I thought I'd just talk a little bit about what my aims are again, in case somebody hasn't seen it. And the main aim is to promote indoor cycling, especially in the UK in the winter when it's horrible. If you're like me and you've got things really still need to wear gloves, I've been on the bike for probably an hour. It's still cold out here. Um, so if you're in that situation then doing stuff online with Rift or Ruby or Train Road, one of the others, uh, Indy Velo, new one. Um, then it gives you that option to still train fairly regularly in the winter and keep your levels going. Um, and that's an option particularly for users with you of you that are a bit like me. Oh, you're getting a bit long in the tooth, old, uh, 72 now. To show you that you, know, you don't have to pack up, and in fact, you can still have some fun, particularly in the winter, doing some races if you fancy it, without embarrassing yourself or thinking you might look silly. It doesn't matter, nobody knows what you're doing in the shed. But it does keep you cycling. Um, so I've done like that now, so I'm just going to see if I can move somewhere else. There we go. Groups. Nothing going at the minute, so I'm going to have to end it and do something else. And we need to see that there's nothing more physical. So, what it's doing, yeah, so um, it's aimed mainly at uh, the older age brackets, the older 70s, try and give them some motivation, increase their motivation for doing something where um, you might otherwise not want to do it. Okay, yeah, so um, trying to inspire and motivate you guys to get out there because there aren't many of us riding in these categories, and uh, the more the merrier, it makes for more competition, especially if you're in the UK. Um, really pleased to see out on the road, especially if you're in the southwest like I came. Um, so that's the aim, just to give you some incentive, show it's not impossible. And uh, we we'll live stream another event on Monday night, which is my, I'm doing the army 
E-Race Championships on Monday, not as a contender, just as another rider. Um, so, uh, if you want to watch that, I think that's going to be about 6.45pm or 18.45 uh, GMT. That's when it's in the races. I think it starts about 18.50, but it's on Monday anyway. And I've managed to find my channel, particularly if you watch this, you can find the channel on YouTube. And um, maybe watch it. So as far as I'm concerned then, this winter's just been sort of maintaining where I was, which I have done pretty much. Um, I've done some some very good rides, particularly in the last sort of three, four weeks. I've equaled my personal best on power output. Uh, I did a few personal best on time on time trials about a month or so ago, so that was good. So it's all looking good, it's always moving in the right direction. There's still a long way to go before it goes to the Man in August, uh, sorry, July, which is where I'm going to be trying to qualify for the world in Denmark. And last year when I went to the Man, I only kept this ride in our category, that's why I went to the world in Scotland. Um, there's nothing like it. That buzz of knowing you qualified and then dragging on that GB skin suit or your national skin suit if you're in somewhere else. Nothing like it, even if you do come last like I did on the day. I still you've ridden it and you've represented your country, which you know I never managed to do when I was younger. But now, as I kept going, what? Well, so I've restarted my career. I've managed to do it. So you can do that too. That's why I want to see more people out there trying it. So, it's about 20, 22, 21 weeks out now for the qualification. Um, <coughs> so, uh, We've got a long way to go. If some of you end up joining me, that'd be great. You can tip tips on ferries and accommodation and all that sort of good stuff as well if you want to go. Uh, so, maybe see you Monday night for watching. And uh, until then, have a really good weekend. But keep cycling. Cheers.